So we've picked up the track bed again down near the Castleford Viaduct. Now all the land between the bridge that we were at for Ledston Station and here, like I said, it's all out of bounds. You can get into it, but it's kind of, you have to go down and then back up again. And uh, we're losing light fast today because it's January. So I'm keen to get these uh, shots done. But behind me is what they call now Fairburn Ings which is an RSPB nature reserve. You can come do a bit of bird spotting if you want. But right behind the camera now is the start of the Castleford Viaduct. But before we look at that, I've got a little surprise for you. Right underneath my feet, I didn't know. Full on track in place all the way through. Not often you get that these days on an abandoned line anyway. Somebody's makeshift ladder over there by the looks of it. But yeah, all the way up here, full on track bed with ballast. It does get a bit brambly, bearing in mind it is winter now, so it should be the least brambly it can be. <laughs> and it is horrendous up there, but it's just said a few hundred yards up. And then I'm going to show you the viaduct and I'm also going to send the drone up into the sky because you can't go onto the viaduct but I'll explain that later. So you can see the lines being ripped up here, the rails, they've been moved into the middle. You can see the uh, chairs just there where it would have sat. The reason I'm heading up here is because there is uh, a little culvert up here or an underpass of some sort, especially on the maps. I just want to take a look at that. We can see where a lot of the ballast here has eroded away. They obviously get high water levels here. And you can see the sleepers hanging over the edge. Now, one thing worth mentioning about this line, like I said earlier, it ran right up until about 1997, maybe 98, this stretch here to take coal from Ollerton Bywater Colliery down to Castleford to join the main line. But the surprising thing is, when we see the bridge shortly, you will see how much of a bad state it is. It's, it's literally sinking and corroded to hell. Now, I mean, you're only talking, what, 25 years ago that the trains ran on here. And it's hard to believe when you see the state that that bridge is in, how anything, especially a coal train with many coal wagons running over that. And like here, where it's all washed out, I just find it hard to believe that they could have even run trains down here 25 years ago. Now, just look at this section here. As you can see, it's all been washed away on the left side and the right hand side. Like I say, the flood water, as you can see the water there, would come up here sometimes and erode this away. I think we're stood on top of the culvert now. So we have come to a dead end now. It's very heavily brambled there. But I think we have just crossed the culvert just before this shot. So I think the culvert is just back here. Anyway, let's head back down here and we'll get to the viaduct and I'll tell you a bit more about the viaduct. Okay, so we're back to the viaduct entrance again. I mean, you can get through there, but I know how dangerous this viaduct is. It is in such a bad state. You can actually see it sagging across the river. So just before we send the drone up, I'll just tell you a bit about this. So the viaduct here crosses the River Eyre just behind us and also a bit of wetland and marshland in between as well. So it's actually a viaduct and then a span bridge over the river and then a viaduct again before it reaches the other side, which is Castleford. Then it used to cross a road and then literally join the main line. But this bridge is in such a bad state of repair. It is literally failing very, very fast. And even the middle sections, if you're walking on the track bed up here, it's all corroded. So they've blocked it off completely. Please, if you come, do not go in here and walk on that bridge. It probably will end in disaster. It's very unsafe. So we stood underneath the bridge here now, or the viaduct. So like I was saying, it spans the marshland here and then you reach the actual bridge, which is in the middle over there, over the river, 
and then back to a viaduct again. So it's quite a long structure. I'll put some facts in down below. But as you can see here, we've got a structure which is protecting this pathway here from the corroding metal and pieces falling down. That's how bad of a state it's in. I'm just gonna zoom in for you so you can see a hole in the deck up there. And then when I pan round in a second, you will see the various levels as the bridge dips and rises. You can see how it's failing. A lot of the supports are sinking into the ground. So here we get a better view of the bridge. Just made my way a bit further across. So like I was just saying, there's the river air just down here and the bridge there. And you can clearly see the viaduct section across this marshland of wetlands here. But let's just take a closer look. I mean, if I just zoom in for you there, the bridge has actually split right there and it's on different levels. And the same a bit further down. And if I just pan down here, you can see how out of shape the bridge is there. It's actually dropped on the left-hand side. But like I keep saying, this was open 25 years ago. You would not believe it. And there was very, very heavy coal trains running up and down here. I just don't know how the dare just spotted another bit of damage. Just look over there. That is totally out of alignment and disjointed. Okay, so let's just have a quick look underneath. So it is cast iron by the looks of it, or it could be steel. I'm not 100% on that. I'll put the facts in down below, like I say, anyway. You can see how everything's corroded and rotted away. And a lot of the, um, well, a lot of the stanchions here, the pillars holding the bridge, have got um, like pieces of metal inserted between, not these ones, but there was some further down, to <laughs> adjust the height on it, which, yeah, it doesn't look amazing. Just a little close-up of one of these stanchions here. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that it is superficial rusting, but you can clearly see the bridge is in a bad state. Anyway, shall we get that drawn up and have a closer look at the bridge? We finally made it round the other side of the Castleford Viaduct. It took us a while to find a route up here just to get round the other side. It's actually much easier than the opposite side. And I'm just approaching the track bed now, left to right in front of us. You can just see peering through the trees there, your railway sleepers sticking out of the mud. Now there's obviously been a lot of erosion around here from the lakes in the area. As you can see, a lot of it has been washed away and uh, more sleepers here on the way up to the viaduct and yet again completely blocked up this side i can see why this side is even worse than the other one in terms of danger anyway so i'll pop you over on the camera so you can see so there you go a piece of rail just coming out of this fence here. It's so strange to see this. It's just sat there and uh, cut off at the end. Yeah, like I said earlier, it's hard to believe that trains ran up here in the 90s. I mean, it's in such a bad state. It really is. Anyway, we're gonna head now to the next port of call, which is gonna be the bridge where it crossed Weldon Road, just behind the camera. 
So actually you made it down the track bed a bit further from the viaducts and you've got the uh, lakes down here. Now I believe there was two tracks here. I can only see one on this side. This side has completely collapsed away and there's bits of rails down there in the trees. I'm thinking that this has definitely washed away over the years all the way down the hill. We've got rail coming up in front of us. I've just spotted this sign here in the trees. Definitely looks railway related. You can see that. As you can see down here, the concrete base is completely tipped away. It won't be long before that is down in the water as well. Like I was saying up here, there's some rail in the floor, look. So this would have been the right hand side of the tracks. Uh, the left side would have been right there, like I say. All gone now. And we've got both rails now. Just thinking about it, they may have taken this left side rail up ages ago, because like I said, they only used this for many years as a single line up to the colliery. So maybe they got rid of that well before, but it has washed away. We're now at the end where it reached the abutment to cross Weldon Road. So let's go down and I'll show you that. I'm now down at Weldon Road in Castleford, not far from the Cast Tigers ground. And again, right here was the bridge that crossed the main road here. Now the viaduct, Castleford Viaduct, is just down there, so it would have been heading this way. Now shortly beyond there, it just curves around the back here. The main line is literally just up there. So the line would have joined just behind. Now I don't think we can get any further than this, as you can see. It's now network rail property, because it's still a live line down there. But it did join on a little siding just down there. Let's take a closer look here. You can see where the abutments would have been. You still see some of the foundations down here in the floor. And the same on the other side as well. Bricks in the floor. So you can clearly see where it was. Now I believe that this bridge was removed in the early 2000s because of the low clearance underneath it. It was stopping vehicles from coming up here. So they basically got rid of it. So this is as close as I can get you to the junction where it joined the main line at Castleford before heading into Castleford Station down there. But you can see the embankment there. Got Wildon Road behind us and it just curves around to join the main line about here. But yeah, you can't get in there. This is a uh, Cast Tigers ground. And as you can see, like I say, it's all fenced off. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little look at the Garforth to Castleford Railway. This was quite a fun one. A bit cold because it's January, but it was quite fun because we actually got rail remains for once. I'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>